Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy, and simple um, chip bag template using Photoshop. Um, just so you know, I am not an expert in Adobe Photoshop at all. I'm learning as I go. Um, I do watch a lot of tutorial videos on YouTube and um, sometimes I'll see something that um, someone is um, demonstrating in um, Photoshop and if I know of a easier way to do it then that is my reason for making these videos and also the version that I'm using of Photoshop um, I have a subscription to Adobe and I have the um, Adobe Creative Cloud all apps and I only pay $30 a month for this I caught it on sale I think it's usually like $60 a month, but I got a notification from them that they had it on sale for $30 a month and I took advantage of it and um, got it. And with this um, subscription, these are all of the um, programs that I get. I think it's like 22 of them. And I know, I think there's another one where there's a lot more programs, but yeah, I get these 22. And the only ones I've downloaded so far is Photoshop, Illustrator, um, Acrobat DC, which is used to make um, PDFs, and InDesign. Um, these I've used before when I um, was working. I'm not working right now, but anyway, I used these before, and I want to learn as much as I possibly can about them all because I seem to have forgotten a lot of things. And all of these other programs, I do plan to download them sooner or later because I do want to learn as much as I possibly can about each and every one of them. Okay, so let's get started. From this menu, after you open up Photoshop, we need to click on Create New. Now, if you've been using Photoshop um, a lot, like I have been lately, it's going to open up and show you the recent most um, templates you used. Um, the template that we're going to use, though, you can find it under Print. And it's basically the letter um, template, which is eight and a half by eleven. Um, you can come over here and um, name your document, which I'm going to do. I'm going to name it Chip Bag Template. And as you can see, the orientation that is using is portrait, which gives the width eight and a half and gives the um, height 11 but we need to use um, landscape which is going to um, switch it around now now the width is 11 and the height is eight and a half you need to also make sure that this is saying inches if it's not just click on the down arrow and choose inches and also here make sure it says um, pixels slash inch and that's basically it and click create okay Another thing you need to make sure you're, um, you, you see here are your rulers. The rulers at the top and the rulers ruler on the side. If you don't see these rulers, click on View and then click on Rulers. And I'm going to turn it off. If your document opens up like this and you do not see your ruler, like I said, click on View and click on Rulers. And they should pop up. Now, if your ruler is not showing in inches, what you need to do is just right click on the ruler and choose inches here. And that's it. Okay. Now we need to make some guidelines to show us the top and bottom of our chip bag, the side, the, the size, and the middle. Um, you can all uh, you can come up here to the ruler and drag down a guideline and it, um, try to get it at one inch for the top and as you can see I'm not getting it that one inch correctly so you can do it that way and try your darndest to get it to say one inch but I found an easier way to do it what you can do is click on view click on new guide and make sure it says horizontal here and then Type in one for one inch. You can click on OK or you can hit your enter key and it'll put it exactly one inch from the top. 
Now the one at the bottom, because our page is eight and a half right here, it needs to be a one inch guideline down here at the bottom. So that's going to be at seven and a half inches. So we're going to click on view. We're going to click on new guide again. We already have horizontal chosen and we just need to type in 7.5. Okay, click the enter key. And there's the other guideline. Now the um, vertical guidelines, we can click on view, click on new guide, click on vertical this time. And the first one is going to be set at 2.75. Click on enter or click OK. Again, view, click on new guide, and make sure it says vertical. And then this one is going to say 8.25. Enter. And that's it. This is your chip bag template. It's that easy. It's that quick. It's that simple. Now, you need to save this um, um, template. It is not saved right now. It's just we named it here, but it's not saved. So you're going to click on File. You're going to click on Save. And I always save it to my computer. And I have a folder that I just call templates. And that's where I save all of my templates. But for this one, I'm just going to save it in my demo folder. And um, as you can see, it incorporated our name here to here as our file name. And just click Save. It's that simple. So if you have a template folder, save it in your template folder or wherever you want to save it. It's up to you. But it's just that simple. And there you have your template. Um, these um, horizontal guidelines is showing you exactly where the top of your bag is going to be and the bottom. And the verticals show you that this is going to be the back side of your um, chip bag. So it's this, and this is going to be the middle, the front of your um, chip bag. It's that simple. Now, my next video, I am going to show you how I created this chip bag using the template I just made. This is what I call an engagement chip bag, and I'm going to show you how I did that in my next video. Okay, so thank you so much um, for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please just remember to click on the like button below, and if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and click the bell and choose all to receive notifications as to when I add new videos to my channel. And if you want to see me um, make this chip bag here, you're going to need to do that. You're going to need to um, click on subscribe and choose all. So they will send you a notification as to when I uploaded the video on how to make that chip bag. Again, um, thank you again for watching the video. If you have any um, questions or comments, please leave them below. I do try to read all comments and all questions. I do try to answer all questions as well. So if there's something that you think you may need help with, go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom. Thank you so much again for watching this video.